now, Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. Tom's on vacation this week, and it's my honor, my pleasure to be right here in the key seat at the microphone. And uh, we will go straight to the numbers. And let me just tell you briefly about myself. I am part of the team here at TFNN, been here about what, seven or eight years. I have a service, a daily service called the Opening Call. It's a very comprehensive look at the markets, um, five, six, seven charts that, uh, that I send out, and they go to my site, and you just pick them up when I start sending them from about 6 in the morning, 8.35, 8.40 Eastern Time. The final one goes out. Usually have, uh, it's, it's called the Trader's Corner. That's where we've got about 11 or 12 bullet points where I, look, I, I give a brief synopsis for those who can only look at that that's all they have time for, just a brief synopsis of what we're looking at. And then I go into the different uh, key stocks or, or um, um, dollar or bonds or whatever it is. Every single day I just give parameters plus whatever we are long or short. In fact, this we have not been short for a little while now because, well, we were short for a very brief moment as a precautionary measure with a very, like a 1.1% 1. 1, 1 stop just recently, just because when I get my work to a peak, a E or F, in this, I'll explain that in a, little, in a little while, in the Chapman wave, that's where I have to become cautious, and that's just a, a standard thing. That was really more insurance to protect our long positions. Some have been in position from late November, early December, like uh, General Electric and uh, uh, home builder, so uh, that's my service, and uh, you can get it. You know, you could try it out, um, and I'll show you the charts as we as we go through the session today in this hour that I'm taking uh, for Tom. And um, so well, let's go right into this because it's really important. This is Apple is probably just about to have some kind of a breather. Maybe not as much as people really think, but maybe a little bit of a breather. And in that time, everyone's going to say, ah, there's nothing left. What else can go up? I'll explain what I'm looking at. And I'm only basing it on the Chapman wave. I, I have no other way to count the waves that we have at this particular time. So you're looking, if you're looking at Tiger TV, you'll be able to see right now, you'll be able to see exactly the, what, what uh, in, when I'm here Monday, Wednesday, Friday in my show, that's the Tiger Technicians Hour, Eastern Time, 11 o'clock till 12. Um, these are the charts that you'll be able to see. And I'm looking right now at the Dow. The Dow closed up 58 points at 13,252. From the low of 12,734, there's a, a, a pattern that I call the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle. In my CD, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology, there's a specific way. I'll just show this briefly here because I know people have asked about this. Uh, this, is, this is Chapter 15. There is 476 slides, a very comprehensive look at all the different uh, uh, all the different patterns that I like to look for that repeat over and over. The market is only made up of a cup formation or a V formation, or an arch, or an inverted V, or straight lines. I mean, that's basically it. So this explains exactly what we're looking at with the symmetry, how you can look at the left side, how you can match the right side in time and price, how you can use what I call an inside wedge. So let's go back to this, and now I'm going to run the charts, and I'll go through what, what we're looking at. There was, in fact, a left side, right side price time match in, the, in, the, in a very short term in the Dow from the high of the 29th at 13,055 to the low of 12,734. Now, unless it's just horrible news or, or oil spikes 30, 40 points, everything about this is that this should actually be leg A to the upside. That's a brand new buy mode. So if every other day from now on we pull back and make an, a successively higher peak, it would take us until a week from tomorrow to get to leg D. So that says in my work that the absolute shortest time we can make some kind of a top here would be if we, uh, if we continue higher and every other day we, either, we gap down at the opening or we pull back, we don't make a new high, a new high bar. But now look at this. This is the weekly chart. The weekly chart says there's that left side, right side time price match in the Dow. And we've gone from the left side at 12,876 in May of last year down to the low of 10,404 uh, December, that, I'm sorry, October, the week of the 7th of October of last year. 
and now we've made an exact V, and last week was the week that should have been where it broke above the 12,876. It did that three, four weeks before. That's very positive, and it snapped through to leg C. So if we're still going to get a leg D, I can't get a top in the weekly chart until if next week is peak C, there's no new high from whatever the high is this week. It'll have to be the week after that's leg D. But the MACD, the moving average convergence, divergence, and the stochastic are really strong, and the monthly chart is broken out to new recovery high. So now I'm going to run the numbers because I've shown you basically how this works. And now let's go to the S&P. The SPX, SPX.X, is at 1402.60. I've got this now as new leg B in the daily, leg C in the weekly. So there again, very positive and a breakout to a new recovery high. And that tells me in the monthly chart that says that so far everything is looking very strong. And that's with the S&P as well. Let's go to the Q's, one, two, three, because the Q's, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the QQQ Power Shares Trust is in now leg B. Now, what, what you're looking at here is this is the daily chart. It's in leg, new leg B. I have to call this new leg B. I'm sorry. That's, I, I, don't, I, just, I don't know what else to call it because... Um, I suppose I could call it an, an extraordinary leg. Mm, is that a high? Yep, I could. Uh, no, it's not a G or an F. This is very strong. So the, the weekly chart is in leg D, very strong, walking the nine period exponential moving average. You see that white line? Look how it's walking. So the big support is a 63.28, and the monthly chart is very strong. Having gone to the up channel, the green line would be a breakout if, if the Qs went above 89, uh, 69.20. But that is where there could be resistance. And we're going to watch it real closely. And that, of course, also has to do with, with the Apple chart. But so far, it's really positive. And the red line would be where that's what I call an inside track. So the Qs, still very positive. Uh, let's go on. We're going to go to the NYA. A lot of people talk about the NYA. I always look at the New York Stock Exchange. Now, that has had a fabulous week. Why? Because it's broken out also into leg B. This, there's no other way I can consider this. It's, this is in the Chapman wave. Leg B It's very positive. Weekly is in leg C, very positive. Now, the, what, what happened today? The IYT. The transportation index, which everyone said was giving a divergence between the Dow and the and the uh, classic the divergence between the Dow and the transports, had a spectacular leg C up. And now this is a pattern that I'm looking at very closely. It hasn't gotten there yet, but it needs to take out the high, the IYTs, the iShares, the transportation average index fund. It needs to clear 96.13 and close above that and close today at 95.60 with a high of 95.98, very close. Now I have a now I'm going to add this right this moment. I don't want to make it complicated, but my subscribers every day get this very clean. Well, it's usually very clean if you look at it closely. Very clean chart of the uh, Dow, the daily Dow, and you can see the cup and ladle. But look at the white candles. The breakout of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fantastically strong white candles and what I do is I show this and today I showed subscribers something else they've never seen it, it's the first time I've ever done this I wanted to make it as clean as possible I wanted to see the downside and the upside well if you look at this there's nothing else, there are no letters on this this is the Dow chart if you look out, look at other breakouts from lows look at those one, two, three one candle stopped over there, but basically four, five, six, seven, seven candles from the low of um, the 25th, 20, 28th of, of November, and you went all the way to uh, 1207 in this up channel. This, I'm going to squeeze it so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this up channel, how it has basically contained the price of the Dow, except for that one breakout. Now look at this, the low of October. You also had one, two, three, then a doji, four, five, six, seven. Seven very strong candles. So I'm saying there's a chance that we are making a very strong move here within the sub channel. I'll go through all the other indexes when we get back, but I do want to take calls at 877 927 6648. Love to hear from you. Coming up.